All the stuff is out. <laughs> I'm honestly afraid that it's gonna fall. Look at that. Welcome to another video. Today I am going to be tackling my bathroom. I am so excited to finally be getting to this. I've been neglecting it. It doesn't look too bad until you see what's inside the cabinets and the drawers. It's kind of awful. So I am going to start today. I want to take everything out, clean, and like get rid of things that have been piling up there because we moved into this house almost a year ago and I just kind of put stuff there. I don't really know what's in the cabinets or in the drawers really it's just like random stuff so I need to go through it all and then I want to go on Amazon and order some organizing systems and then once they come I will continue so let's go I'll show you what's in there today This is the upstairs bathroom that is attached to my room. It's also very plain, so I want to spice it up. I want to do something to bring it more to life. So we're just gonna start. I'm kind of embarrassed to even show you guys. I don't even know what's in here. Okay, there's one, <laughs> there's two, <laughs> three, and four, yeah. So it's just kind of been piling up random stuff was in there so i want to go through it pull all of it out get rid of whatever i don't need and then see how much organizing things i can put in there organize them into bins and my baby's awake so i'm gonna go get him i also forgot to show you guys the shower so i'm gonna flip it over here say hi hi William. over here I don't know if the camera's picking it up, but I have this big stain, like a water stain. So I need to take this off and wash it. <sighs> I need to deep clean the shower and then I want to find a different organizing station for this because it's just very flimsy. We had it since we've been married and I'm honestly afraid that it's going to fall on the kids one day. It's just very like, yeah, flimsy. The bath toy organizer. I want to get a new one, something that's not mesh, and they don't play with like half of those toys. So I need to go through that and throw away anything that is probably all moldy. Thank you, Alex. Yay, look how clean it is. All the stuff is out. <laughs> That's all that was in there. Yeah. Yeah. I know. Yep. Alright guys, so this is the problem. <laughs> all of this was in there. Now I gotta sort it out. It's very embarrassing. But we're getting to it. <laughs> So this is what I'm left with. Um, I threw away quite a lot of stuff. Really? Yeah. And this stuff just makes sense. <laughs> it's everything that I thought was in there. So everything else was just kind of, yeah, yeah. Oh no. Moving on to my drawers. Guys, I don't even want to show you. Like, it's so bad. But then it'll be so satisfying to watch once I clean it all. So, oh well. Real life, right? 
So this is what I got going on. This is my drawer. And this is kind of like toothbrush drawer, Alex's drawer. Like why? <laughs> I think I want to buy dividers and make it more organized so that it's not going to like move around as much. as far as I'm going to get today. Now I'm gonna start researching Amazon, different organizing bins and structures that will help me put away all the rest of the things under my cabinets in my bathroom. When we first moved into this house, I was so excited that we were gonna have two bathrooms. It's so nice to have one upstairs and downstairs, obviously, because you don't have to run the stairs every time you have to go to the bathroom. And so I'm happy that I can finally get to this because it's literally been, you know, probably 11 months. But I'm just gonna do a little disclaimer. When I moved in here, I was 38 weeks pregnant with this guy. 38 weeks pregnant with you. So I was honestly try just trying to like shove things into places so that it makes sense and get birth, so. I was not ready to do all the organizing, but now we are and he's helping me. Hi, little boy. Little boy. Hello. So it's a few days later. I went to Walmart over the weekend and I bought this container. So I think I'm going to put as much of this stuff I, as I can in here and see how well this works for me. So this is how it's looking. Um, I think I like it. I should have checked how to put it in there because I want it to go this way. Let's just try this. Almost! Oh, yes! That's awesome. Close. It closes! Look at that. It takes up the... Wow. Wow, guys. I'm proud of that. Look how much more space I have. Cool. And then I only have that much stuff left. So I'm thinking I only need like one more of these. Maybe I'll get two more. I'm gonna get a container for my curling iron and blow dryer and straightener. And then another Walmart container. And I also wanna get a jewelry box or something to put all my jewelry because it's just like, it's all over the place right now. Okay, guess what just came? My Amazon box. I'm gonna open it with you and I'm gonna show you what's in there, what I ordered. I'm so excited. It's about two weeks later because by the time I ordered it, by the time it came, the first item is this cute little fake plant. I think it needs to be like feathered out a bit. I just thought this was adorable. I love vintage stuff. I love antique stuff. So like this just like reminded me of that. And I wanted this to go in here 
but I'll see if that's gonna work out. The next item is the, the little jewelry box. Here I have the new shower head. The one that we have upstairs squeaks like there's just a constant, a really high pitched noise and it's very irritating and it's also very slow. So one day. Ooh, that was so hard. This is the brand I got and this is how it looks inside. When my handy husband comes home, he'll be putting that up. This is the shower caddy that I got. Pretty good size. There's two of these. I'm really excited about this one. It's the drawer organizers. I've been wanting to get these for a long time. Look how good they are. They're really good quality too. Like it's a really hard, tough plastic. So hopefully these are gonna fit well and organize all the little things inside the drawers. And then this mat. This is a mat that absorbs water when you get out of the shower. So hopefully it's going to work good as well. And I have another little mat that I bought. It's not here yet. Hopefully it's gonna be here soon. Planning to work on it a little bit tonight. Right now the kids are sleeping, husband should be home soon. And then maybe tomorrow too. I think I'm gonna do everything that my husband needs to be there for today. And then tomorrow do all the organizing. I also got the little bins. So funny, I literally dress up to go check the mail and it's like right outside my door. Hey, my jewelry finally gets a, a home. I've never used one of these. This is what it looks like even though I cleaned it two weeks ago. You know, every time I open it and like close it, like stuff moves all the time. So I'm excited to have those in. the toothpaste, deodorant, floss, some teether flossers, and I have all of his cologne over here, and then an extra tube of a toothpaste back there because he just doesn't use that stuff as often. Yeah, I really like these. I mean, it just makes everything look so much better. I want to kind of find another basket, maybe at a thrift store or something. Um, I'm not really liking the situation, so I might put everything underneath. seeing these they're really cute um i was planning for one to hold the toys and then the other one to hold all the shampoo conditioner and shaving cream and all that i'm kind of doubting that it will but i guess we'll see it's okay if we have to minimize a bit and i'll have all the extra empty bottles and everything like i have on there right now yeah i think it'll be fine plus they have these extras where i can hang all the lofas
guys, it fits the shampoo, conditioner, body wash, and kid soap, so I'm proud of it. Well, I'm really unsure about the location of the second one just because I want this to be lower so that the kids will be able to put their toys in there. This is the final result. I like it. The kids get a reach of theirs. That's perfect. I think I'm just gonna keep these because they're just, they're really tight on there and I, I know that you can get it off with like a hair dryer or something, but I'm like, why not? What if they're gonna hang something and you can't really see them, so yeah, I think it's fine. This one as well, like I'm not sure if I'm gonna leave it on here or just like leave it down there. Guys, look what I just found. Ta-da! Wow. Oh wow. Now that's that's cool. That's so cool. working in the bathroom and I think today is the last day so I want to just get right into it. I'm going to be organizing everything down here in the cabinets and then hanging up the decor and I think we're gonna be good. swabs to be in this container anymore so I try to shove them all back in there. In this box I have the cotton swabs, I have extra sponges for baths, I have some just extra random stuff in here like shaving blades and stuff, um, my Epsom salt and my pads and everything. <laughs>
but, but look at my cute background. I'm so happy that I finally got this done, that you guys came along with me. I hope that you like it too. When we moved in here, this bathroom was very cold and empty, and that's how I kept it for the past year. Um, but I'm so happy that I could finally put like finishing touches to it, make it more homey, make it a little warmer. So I hope that you like it. It's hard to mix two styles together because this house is new, it is modern, so my style is very old and antique. So to try to combine the two doesn't really fit. I'm still trying to understand how I can do that, but I like it. I think it's cute. Thank you for coming along with me and may God bless you. Bye!